200 million apiece. Well, that's what Gene Kilroy thinks, who was Ali's former business partner and uh, was a part of Ali's circle. Now, this is when I, Muhammad Ali fought George Foreman on October 30th, 1974 in um, Zaire, which was the biggest fight at the time. Each fighter, each fighter made about $5 million. And that fight was on what closed circuit back in the day before pay-per-view. So you had to go to the movie theater. And I remember my, my, uh, my father talking about that growing up, how they all had to go to the movie theater and watch it. You know, wasn't no HBO or Showtime back then. But uh, the kicker is George Foreman didn't even at first want to take the fight per this article and that Don King had to step in. Quote, Mobutu, who was ruler of Zaire, jumped on board. He wanted to promote tourism of Zaire, Africa. Well, George Foreman didn't want to fight Ali. So Hank Schwartz hired Don King to go talk to George up in California. And George said, no, nah, I'll beat him. They'll say I'm beating an old man. Well, Don King said $5 million and George Foreman said, let's do it. And they signed the contract. Now, $5 million back in the day is the equivalent of $33 million now in, in today's time. And uh, also, you know, Ali, he had just, that was his, uh, winning his title back after, you know, getting his title stripped for not wanting to enlist in the U.S. military. But the, uh, I mean, it was a phenomenal fight. I, of course, Ali ended up winning, did a rope of dope the whole time, ended up knocking Foreman out in the, uh, in the eighth round. You know, he was, uh, what he was, uh, he would hit up against ropes and he would just start tagging Foreman. Foreman seemed tired. And, um, I think Ali was, he was even trash talking Foreman the whole time. But his classic fight is free on YouTube. Rumble in the Jungle, um, and it was Ali's second time winning the world title. I know he lost to Frazier, but then, like I said, he had the whole where he refused to fight Vietnam, which is a, I'm gonna make a separate video about how Foreman said he's not the best fighter ever, but the most important person ever, or the best person ever. But um, let me say this: Ali's advisor said that if they would have fought today, they would have made at least 200 million dollars a piece. Quote: Ali Foreman was a remarkable fight. If that if that fight was today, each fighter we we'll receive maybe around 200 million. It was the most spectacular thing on earth. Everywhere I go, people tell me I remember that fight. I was just a kid. Let me let, let me say this honestly. If they fought today, I honestly think that they would make about three to 350 million dollars a piece. And y'all probably will say, "Well, Lucas, why are you saying that?" Well, you, could you imagine if I lead did something like that now with social media? Um, you got these streaming apps. It ain't got. It don't have to be on closed circuit. You have a um, uh, the zone or something like that. Plus, you got Turkey Alice Sheet that could come up with that type of money or if they did it let's just say hypothetically ali was with al Heyman and uh george Foreman with, with uh turkey al sheep they would have been able to come together and make that kind of money even or even if don king existed now in today's time they'd be able to come up with that kind of money if floyd if floyd made uh, 250 million versus uh, manny pacquiao and uh what about 200 million against conor mcgregor then i know that in my in my mind in my opinion they could have made between three and three fifty a piece. You know, you got somebody as polarized and as um, charismatic as Muhammad Ali, and then you got a knockout artist like George Foreman, who also I think well, Foreman was what twenty five at the time, twenty four, twenty five. Um, Ali was, was was the older fighter, and just his presence, like Ali's literally one of the most famous people of all time. So I could just imagine them making that kind of money. Like I said, if, if Floyd can make several hundred million dollars, him and Manny Pacquiao. And him or Conor McGregor. Imagine that times a thousand. Ali, I mean, I, a lot, okay, let me say this. A lot of people like Floyd. Floyd is compared to Ali as far as fame, popularity, is 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 peanuts. It's peanuts. So if you put Ali in, in, in today's time, I mean, he, and the fight wouldn't even have to be in Zaire. The fight could be in Vegas and they would make that kind of money. I mean, of course, it would have to be like in the summertime, in my, in my mind, maybe like a June or July. I mean, ring size seats would probably go for about a million dollars. Easy, easy. And just the yeah. 800 million people might watch that fight, maybe even more. I wouldn't be surprised if, if it if if they fought now, they their fight might rival the Super Bowl last year. Over a billion people will probably watch that fight, honestly. And they would they would make money, and they, they, it would literally be the biggest fight of the millennial, not even the century, the millennial. And this is sad because boxing needs that, and boxing needs that kind of fights, man. Like Earl Spence versus uh, Terrence Terrence Crawford. How many years did we was waiting? Six, seven years. It was a long time for that fight. You know what I mean? The the uh, Devin Haney versus Javante Davis, Javante Davis versus Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney versus Shakur Stevenson. Unfortunately, because of the politics, we're not able to get them. But back in the day, 
people fought like that. Like I said, Foreman was what, 24, 25? Around that age when he fought Ali? It, it was okay to take losses back then. You know what I mean? And look, look at Foreman. Foreman came back. He ended up becoming the oldest fighter to win a heavyweight title. Came out with the Foreman grill. You know, I think he sold that for $350 million and, and he been good. You know what I mean? And and he seemed healthy. And he don't seem like he's, he suffered from any type of uh, long lost damage in boxing. At least at this moment. And I believe Foreman at least in his mid '70s, you know, chilling, collecting cars, probably going to beaches and, you know, doing his thing. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I definitely think they would make, like I said, at least 300 million a piece. And that's just my mind. Tell me what y'all think. If I'm tripping, let me know. Or do y'all think that they would make more? But y'all can't tell me that that fight wouldn't probably rival a billion people watching it. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, let me know what y'all think.